Pleasant good morning. Welcome to Transwest Truck Trailer RV live here on Facebook and YouTube. I want to thank you guys for tuning in today. We are Transwest in Frederick. We are just 30 minutes from Denver International Airport for all those looking to fly in to check out our inventory here. Uh, I want to thank you guys again for tuning in. This one is our last of our sprint events. I mentioned to you guys in the past we had three. Those are the empty shells. So if in case you were looking to convert one of those sprint events into a workspace or living quarters um, and you want to do it from you know from the ground up uh, we had three of those this is the last one this is a 2022 mercedes-benz sprint van 2500 it is a diesel unit clean almost new <laughs> it only has about 100 miles on there yes you're hearing right 100 miles so we're going to go over some of the features here go over the vehicle itself and again if you guys are interested feel free to reach out uh, my number will be at the bottom of the screen or you could call the store and ask for Larry Vickers or myself, Marlon Bledman, and we'll definitely help you out with this particular unit. So as you guys can see, it does have a tan interior. We're going to take a zoom in on the tires. Uh, we do have Michelin tires with the original uh, Mercedes-Benz rims. Uh, those are 245, 75 R16s. You do have an option of updating those rims if you want to. At an, at an additional cost. One thing I want to mention about this particular unit, it does have that 360 camera view. It does have a camera underneath each mirror, one underneath the badge up front, and you do have a rear view camera as well. So that creates that 360 camera view. This one also has the blind spot monitor. So for this particular model, we do have the triangle on those mirrors and it will light up whenever something is in your blind spot. As I open up the driver door, we do have black leather seats in the interior, so only the two front seats are available. Those do swivel and does turn around, so if you guys need to know that information, I'm gonna put it out there right away. Those doors turn around, both driver and passenger, so if you wanna create a table space or a workspace, you could turn that around. It is heated seats as well, you do have your adjustments over here and your lumbar switch over here. Underneath the driver's seat, you have access to all your fuses. And of course, it's all labeled. So again, if you want to add more fuses while you build, you have enough space to do that. So the battery is located underneath this portion of the cab. So once we get into the... the Underneath the hood, you will realize there is not a battery there, so that's why all the connections are in here, and the batteries will be underneath that driver's seat. Checking out the door, you have tons of storage on that panel. You do have your heated uh, seat for your driver on the door, and your passenger, the heated seats are over there as well. You have power windows, power locks, and of course, powered mirrors, and this mirror do fold as well, so if in case you're in a tight spot, you don't want anybody damage, damaging your mirrors, you could actually fold those. All the light options over here, and then we'll show you over here, this is your diesel input. So once the door is closed, your diesel is secure. This one is an all-wheel drive, so it is four by four. So another thing to mention, it does have your rear sensors. It does have a bumper pull hitch with your seven pin hookup. And of course, like I mentioned, it is four by four. It is at 2,500. One of the cool things about those doors, it opens all the way. So if in case you are camping or you are working, you can avoid damaging those doors, bringing in your equipment or just storing stuff or if you want that open space for air to come in you have those doors that open wide you do have storage on both doors a little basket for smaller items and of course as you guys can see this one is the high roof so for your purpose and want to know length and width and height I brought a little measuring tape, so we're going to go over uh, some of those measurements for you. So from the back of the 
driver's seat where it breaks off to the back where the door will close is about 129 inches and a half so 129 and a half inches so that's about 10 feet nine and a half inches so just behind the wheel well you guys have about 70 and a half inches and between those wheel wells you have about 53 inches and I'm gonna go up and show you guys the height I'm about 510 so you still see that I got a few more inches so I'm gonna go from the highest point on the ground all the way to the highest point here and that's about six foot five inches so nice space in here and as we come in we do have a few lights in here and as you guys can see there are open spots here where you could add more lighting or if you want to design this where you want to do a different type of lighting you can because again it is an open shell if you want to add insulation uh, you want to add some walls some storage shelves you have the option to do that all now if you want to run wires through the doors you have that option to do that with that before you actually add all the walls and stuff like that uh, my two customers uh, watched the videos and decided to go this route and buy those um, sprint events one thing they like again it, it being bare and they could actually create this space whatever space they're having their um in their thought in their thoughts so they're about to do some awesome projects and i cannot wait for them to send me some pictures when they're once they're done but if you want to use it just like this you do have tie down so you have four in the back you got two four in the middle and then you have two in the back so you got a total of 10 tie downs so five on each side again we do have that slide door so once jody come around you guys will meet and greet me from this side <laughs> so you do have this wide um sliding door again those those windows do not open but again you have a clear view of outside from the back doors and that side door And again, with those seats able to swivel, how did I forget how to? But again, those seats do swivel and does turn around. And of course, the driver's seat does the same. So as we jump inside, I'm going to show you what the cockpit looks like or some of the features in the front. So for the driver and passenger seat, you do have your armrests that are adjustable. You do have an extension on the seat. So maybe let's do it on this one here. So you do have an extension that allows you a little more extra space or more protection when driving. And of course, you could push it back if you don't want to use it that way. You got a couple, you got about four cup holders two normal ones and smaller ones for like bottles you got your manual all your manuals for the unit you got tons of storage room in here and in the middle you do have a few charging options you have a 12 volt and then you have two uh, USB plugins here additional cup holders up here which small enough for bottles Again, you could close those up. More storage up top. All your light options up here. You do have a glass case holder. Again, your rear view mirror. Your screen right now. We in park, but I wanted to show you what the camera view looks like. It does have that 360 camera view. Again, it does tell me that my those three doors are open. If I do open my driver door, it will show it will show you all the doors in red that are open. I'm gonna close this so you can get that perfect view here. 
So a nice little feature here if you're going down the road, it will warn you apart from the screen here, it will give you a warning on your main screen up front that your doors are open. So those three doors are open. So if I do open that door, it will show you that the driver door is open. So a nice little safety feature here so you know exactly what's going on. Okay, on the steering wheel, you got a few options here. On that left hand side, has everything to do with that front screen. And on the left and on the right side, has everything to do with the main stereo screen. So you could actually toggle through the different options here and go for the different settings. And then on this side, I could toggle through here. I did say 100 miles, it's actually 74 miles. So I um, just wanted to show you guys that. So when you go to your driver assist, you could actually see a few different options. You could go for your trip log, see your different options, see your consumption, all your different options here. When you go back out, you could go to your radio, your media, your phone, settings, and then you can go for your different settings. One thing I wanted to mention here, with your display and operation, if you go into that, um, I did set this up permanent so they could display the deaf fluid. With a vehicle like this, you want to make sure that you're on top of it in terms of making sure this vehicle is has all its all the depth, especially when you're driving down the road. So I I will put this permanent so you could actually see your levels. And of course, right next to it here is your diesel level, so you can see how much diesel you have left on this unit. So I I put this on all my uh, units so the passenger or the driver would know exactly how much depth he or she has so again it does have bluetooth so you could actually connect your phone to the bluetooth and enjoy whatever entertainment you have on your phone but again you do have radio fm and fm and am radio all your controls here you could do it via touchscreen or the the trackpad on your steering wheel or you could do it down here and again all your ac controls over here so right now we have the ac going on Let's put on the AC and the fans will be on my face only. Very easy to adjust those vents. Again, only 70, 76 miles, 78 miles. So this is our last of our our last of our sprint events on the empty shell side, so 74 miles. So this is a 2022 with the additional option of the 360 camera view. Again, um, it is a 22, 74 miles. If you guys are interested in this last unit, please give me a call. It will definitely work if you guys. We do offer finan um, finance options. We do take trade-ins. We do offer delivery as well. We've had one delivered to Washington. The other one was picked up here. The couple flew in. And then of course this one, Either you fly in or we could deliver it to your doorstep. So feel free to reach out to us. My number will be at the bottom of the screen. My name is Marlon Bledman once again. Again, if you guys have any questions, feel free to put a comment below. Call me, email me, text me, and I'll definitely get back to you guys at my soonest. In the meantime, have a great week. The weekend is about to come. Have a great weekend as well. And I'll see you guys back here the next time for a video here at Transwest Truck Trailer RV. Thank you.